shot there of the Rocky Mountain skyline of downtown Denver. Pirates baseball starts right now. From the corner of 20th and Blake Streets, a look at Coors Field in Denver. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Colorado Rockies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian getting Welcome set to bring you this one on the show. Colorado Rockies. Let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates. As manager Clint Hurdle has his squad lined up like this. go to work against a tough assignment indeed the hard throwing right hander Jordan Lyles Gregory Polanco will step to the plate now as we're ready to get Gregory this one Polanco. underway right what you doing baby Gregory Polanco. how was lunch Crowd still filing in this afternoon as the game's first pitch is taken for you ball one. On. Do those bees, do they have a microphone on them? The 1 0 pitch. Do they have a microphone on them? Now oh, that's cool. Foul down the I may have to try right those out on my uh, PlayStation too. Okay. Swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. So it'll be scored an infield single here to start things out. And with that, let's bring in a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. You get the leadoff single, and now you got a three and one count. He's already in a little hot water here to start the ball game. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. And this is all about a table setter at the top of the lineup doing his job perfectly. Gets on base to start the ball game. Now he's into second on the stolen base, and they're off to a fast start here early on. No. I don't even know what she's talking about. He's able to foul it off. Uh, and the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Mm -hmm. The three, two, one more time. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally mm, set down here after an That's eight the dog. That's for the Bobby dog. He'll be disappointed with that at bat, but potentially yeah, that's the saving popcorn. grace might be that he got to see a lot of pitches here in the first inning, so he'll have a good idea of what's to come later on. And late reactions, mm. and they got him. Gregory Polanco will dig in here. He singled to open up the ball game. And here's the first pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Look at that. Like Here you go. Come on, big guy. Hey. Slider, and this is hit on the ground out to short. And this is over the head of Morno at first. And he'll get in there safely. 
pretty dangerous here for a first baseman. This throws high, and it's to the home plate side of the bag. So when he leaves his feet, he's really exposing himself to that runner coming down the line. Now the overthrow, that was bad enough, but a collision there would have really been bad news. <laughs> Neil Walker face. will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is mm. hit well out toward deep left field. Gonzalez is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Line hard into left, and that's in there. Base hit, and now third base coach Nick Lava is going to wave him on home, and they will tag him out at the plate, uh. and that'll keep our ball game tied up as the inning is over. Pirates Jeez, lead one sucks. after two and a half. It remains. <laughs> Jordan Lyles makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. One one pitch is lifted in the air out to right. Polanco is there, one away. Yeah, just a little bit late here on the fastball, and this thing's almost by him when he makes contact. Still, he gets pretty good wood on the ball, but not enough to trouble the right fielder. Charlie Blackman will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. In the air to right center. Polanco is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. All right. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. We're back at... Gregory Polanco will stand in. He reached on an error last time through. Gregory Polanco. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Mommy told you go get something, this. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Oh, and running on Kadire is going to cost him. He's out at home plate. And he is in there. Well, he's trying to do what he can to get his guys a step closer to tying this thing. But that time, he was a little too optimistic. They tag him out easily at home plate. Neil Walker will stand in now. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 thus far. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. The throw to the plate. And that'll plate the run from second as the lead is trimmed to 4 3 now. This is a close game. Charlie Culberson will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. This ball's in the air now, out to right field. And he can't track it down. A base hit. Oh, and it makes such a difference when that pitch is up a little bit. It's not a bad pitch, really. It's on the outside corner. But that slider is so much easier to handle when it's belt higher or higher, and he's able to just hit it hard the other way. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up, and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Rockies strand one, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Mm. Okay. 
Actually, we're Broby. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Alright. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The tiger. Tigger. Gregory Polanco will have a shot at driving oh, okay. home that possible tying run that's standing at second. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Come on, Polanco. Runners left in scoring position. One of the big the keys Braves to this sorry, ball game so far. I oh, got the high fastball uh, there, and he popped it straight up, way up there on the infield. Arenado is there to make the catch, and they'll get out of this with the lead intact. Jared Hughes will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Carlos Gonzalez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw by Barmas gets him for route number one. Gregory Polanco will try again. Two for four in the ball game. Gregory Polanco. Here's a fastball that he laces the other way into left, and this will mm, split on. the gap for extra bases. Come on. come on. Around second, he'll try for third. And he's All safe. All right, in there with a triple, baby. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on his base coaches, and he's able to make it all the way around safely. Clint Barmas will get a chance now as he hopes to cash in following the two-out triple. Runner away from third, now the pitch. In the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate, and that will keep the runner at third. Throw down Whoa. to third is thrown away right down oh, the man, left field line. <laughs> huh? Uh-uh. Quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the, the difference, of the night to there he is. He's our garbage. tops player of the game. Okay. Well, he winds up with three quarters of the side.